ఓకే హాయ్ ఎవ్రీబడి వెల్కమ్ టు విహాన్స్ బయాలజీ టుడే ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ దట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద రోల్ ఆఫ్ ది ఎయిర్ ఇన్ అ ఫోటో సింథసిస్ అండ్ ఇన్ అవర్ లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ వీ డిస్కసెడ్ దట్ ద మేజర్ ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫోటో సింథసిస్ లైక్ సన్ లైట్ వాటర్ క్లోరోఫిల్ అండ్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ద ఎయిర్ and uh, today in this class we are going to see that uh, what is the role of the air uh, in photosynthesis and already we know that scientist joseph priestley in your previous classes and uh, he is very familiar to us and he said that uh, nothing but he introduced one gas but he don't know the name of that gas that is nothing but oxygen and actually in the year of uh, 1774 in the year of uh, 17 74 joseph priestley he discovered one gas but he don't know the name of that gas and next uh, in the year of uh, 1775 in the year of uh, 1775 we have lavoisier and a lavoisier he have given the name of that gas as uh, oxygen okay actually oxygen it is discovered by joseph priestley but he don't know the name but in the year of 1775 we have another scientist he is a lavoisier he have given that name as a oxygen and next uh, the experiments of uh, joseph priestley they are showing that what is the role of the air in a photosynthesis and he have done few series of uh, reactions there experiments there and what that experiment said means uh, this air is going to play a major role in the growth of the green plants okay and whatever the experiments series of experiments done by the joseph priestley and they are showing that the role of the air or the importance of the air in the growth of the green plants and next uh, joseph priestley he have conducted one experiment it is said to be uh, priestley's uh, bell jar experiment in this uh, priestley's bell jar experiment he have taken one closely packed glass chamber in the shape of bell because of that we are calling that as a bell jar and next uh, he introduced uh, one burning candle into it and next uh, when he introduced that burning candle in that bell jar that burning candle it is extinguished immediately and next uh, he introduced uh, one mouse uh, into that uh, glass jar and uh, even though that mouse also it is a uh, died immediately because of the suffocation it is suffocated and immediately it is a uh, died and uh, by this uh, two results they uh, previously expressed this burning candle and as well as uh, this mouse they are doing some what uh, damage to the air which is present in the picture and next uh, he introduced uh, one mint plant into the uh, bell jar and next he introduced that burning candle and as well as uh, one mouse into the uh, bell jar and next uh, when he introduced that uh, mint plant whatever the burning candle it is a uh, burning continuously and as well as a uh, whatever the mouse it is not suffocated it is a uh, still alive it is a uh, not dead in that uh, bell jar there as a result here what that priestly stated that that is nothing but whatever the burning candle and as well as a uh, the animals they are damaging to the air but that will be restored by the green plants and this is the statement given by the joseph priestley by the joseph priestley's uh, bell jar experiment and he stated that whatever the plants restored the air what breathing animals and burning candles remove and because of that uh, what this burning candle it removes the oxygen and as well as uh, these animals they are utilizing the oxygen but the oxygen will be restored into the environment by the green plants and this is a statement have given by the joseph priestley by this bell jar experiment okay now 
we are going to see that and in last uh, we discussed that what is the role of the air in photosynthesis and next uh, we are going to see that what is the importance of uh, carbon dioxide in a photosynthesis already you know that carbon dioxide is going to present in a air and now we are going to see that uh, carbon dioxide role in a photosynthesis i think but we are going to say that carbon dioxide is uh, essential for uh, photosynthesis okay to conduct this experiment first of all we have to follow few steps they are nothing but uh, one is said to be aim why we are doing this experiment and next uh, what are the materials required or apparatus required for this material and next we have the precautions what type of precautions we have to take uh, while conducting the experiment there and next we have the procedure and how we are performing the experiment there will come from the procedure and next we have the observation and by this experiment what we have observed we are going to write in this observation and the next uh, result there nothing but whatever the aim we are going to show in that uh, result there and these are the steps they are present in that uh, experiment we conducted there and now here carbon dioxide is a very essential for photosynthesis to conduct this experiment uh, we have to take a uh, destarched uh, plant there okay destarched plant in the sense and we have to remove the starch which is present in the leaves uh, of that plant by keeping that plant nearly 2 to 3 days in a dark room as a result whatever the starch which is present in that leaves it is going to be utilized completely and uh, we have to take uh, that kind of a uh, plant destarched plant uh, to perform this kind of activity and especially here and this experiment it is also called as a moles half leaf experiment there and here we are going to see that what is the aim aim is nothing but uh, to show that carbon dioxide is very essential for a photosynthesis and next uh, what are the apparatus or material required for this experiment means uh, we have to take a uh, destarched uh, plant leaves and next uh, we have to take a uh, wide mouthed bottle and next we have to take uh, potassium hydroxide pellets or potassium hydroxide uh, solution and next uh, we have to take a uh, uh, what iodine or betadine solution to conduct iodine test and next uh, we have to precautions here what type of precautions we are going to take means uh, definitely we have to take uh, this starched uh, plant for this experiment if you are going to take uh, the plant which is uh, present in the sunlight uh, means which is not this starched uh, automatically we are not going to get proper result by this experiment uh, because of that definitely we have to take a uh, this starched uh, plant for this uh, experiment uh, and it is a one type of precaution we are going to see that and next we have observation and what we are going to observe in this and first of all see that Uh, we have to take that uh, destarched uh, plant and next uh, we have to take a uh, one wide mouthed uh, glass bottle and uh, we have to fill the wide mouthed uh, glass bottle with a uh, potassium hydroxide pellets or potassium hydroxide solution little bit there. and why we are using this uh, potassium hydroxide in this experiment means um, whatever the presence of carbon dioxide nothing but if carbon dioxide is going to be present within the bottle the carbon dioxide is going to be absorbed by the potassium hydroxide actually here the chemical reaction is uh, when this uh, potassium hydroxide is going to be react with the carbon dioxide automatically potassium bicarbonate is going to be formed and water is going to be formed and this is a chemical reaction there uh, next because of that we are using that uh, potassium hydroxide and uh, next uh, we have to insert the leaf of that uh, discharged plant into that uh, wide mouthed uh, bottle with the help of that uh, cork with the help of that actually that cork it is a fixer to that bottle and with the help of that uh, cork only we are inserting that uh, leaf into that bottle there and next uh, we are going to keep this arrangement in a uh, sunlight and uh, when we are going to see after 6 uh, hours there automatically uh, because of the sunlight what the photosynthesis is going to be takes place in that uh, plant and next uh, we have to detach that uh, plant which is inserted 
in that uh, wide mouthed uh, glass bottle there and when we are going to detach that and we have to remove that uh, detached uh, leaf from that uh, wide mouthed uh, bottle there and we are going to see that half should be outside of the bottle and half should be inside of the wide mouthed bottle there. then only we are able to examine the experiment and next when we are going to take out that uh, detached uh, leaf there automatically we have to do that uh, iodine test if iodine is not available we have to take a betadine solution for that and next uh, when we are going to pour little drops few drops on that uh, leaf there automatically the pot uh, which is uh, exposed to the sunlight automatically it will be converted into bluish black color nothing but blue black color there and uh, it shows that it proves that that uh, where the part it is converted into blue black color there the sun it is exposed and all the factors they are available as a result the starch or the carbohydrates they are prepared as a result it is converted into blue black color and the remaining half part which is inserted into that uh, wide mouthed uh, glass bottle it is not converting into blue black color after that iodine test because their carbon dioxide is not available as a result whatever the half part it is not converted into bluish black color and uh, it reveals that carbon dioxide also very very important for the photosynthesis